Hey guys, this is Kyle Wahlberg from Leica Geosystems, and today we're here to talk about stationing your tool. So from the total station's point of view, this is the most important aspect. If your control point, your grid line, your station is inaccurate, your whole layout's going to be inaccurate. So let's get into it. Starting off in one of your applications, it doesn't matter which one you're in, as built, stake out, layout points. What you're going to be looking for is this icon right here in the middle, the total station with the arrows pointing up and down. When you select that, it's gonna bring you in to a bunch of different options you can use to station your tool. So we have coordinates or control lines. Coordinates, you gotta think that the surveyor came out and gave you a few marked hubs around the job site to work as your control. Or control lines, you gotta think of laying out using grid lines, something like that. You also get two other options there, anywhere or over a known point. Anywhere is we set this tool up randomly on the job site. We didn't spend the time to make sure it's over a known point or a control point. And over a known point is set up the tool over a control point. So for this one, I'm gonna show you how to set up using coordinates anywhere. You go through this, it's automatically going to bring you into your leveling screen. The way to make this a little bit easier on you is to line up your faceplate over one of your tripod legs. That way you know the directions it's telling you on your screen are accurate to this. So this one's telling me to level it out just a little bit, which I'll do there. I'll try and get all three green check marks. Once I do that, I'm good to go. If you can't quite get it to get all three green check marks because the job site you're on, the floor is bouncing, you're up on a deck, something like that, get it as close to center as you can. As long as that bubbles inside the, green, or the inner circle, you're gonna be good to go. The tool can compensate for it, all right? So once you're done leveling the tool out, hit your next button, which is located on the top right of the screen, that blue dot, and it's gonna bring you into a detail page. This is where if you're doing any elevations, transferring heights, whatever, you can mark out your reflector height. That's the distance from the prism to the ground. And you can also check how often the tool is gonna to prompt you for double checking your back sight. I usually keep everything on my default. I keep my reflector height at six foot and I keep my uh, prompts for checks every hour. That way every hour it's gonna send me a message saying, hey, double check your control points, make sure you're still accurate, and I'm good to move from there. So I'll hit my next button again, right at the top. And at this point, if you haven't already connected your total station to the prism, this is when you do it. So top center, you'll see a prism icon. Go ahead and click that, and you can hit the move and search button. The move and search button, if you hit either one of these fan buttons to the side, it's gonna cause your total station to spin around. Now what this is doing is it's searching within 30 degrees of this optic here, and as long as your prism is within that, you're good to go. You'll notice a tool, I'm within the 30 degrees, it's already locked on, but because I'm so close to it, it may not like it because it has to turn its whole face. But once you're locked on, it's time to follow the directions at the top right. This time it's telling me to select and measure my first control point. So on the map, I'm gonna find my first control point. I'm going to tap on it, it'll highlight it. Then I'll actually walk over to it. I'm gonna place this, gut, this field rod directly over my point. And then I'm gonna plumb it up. After it's plumb, I'm gonna hit my store button and record that point. Now, it's really important on these that you keep it as plumb as possible. Again, I told you if your control is inaccurate, then your whole layout's gonna be inaccurate. That's the number one thing people mess up is they're not holding their guide rod plumb enough. All right, after you measure your first point, it's time to follow the directions here and it says select and measure your second point. So I'll go on my map here. I'll find my second control point. I'll select it. And then I'm gonna repeat the process. I'll walk over here with my field rod and I'll put the tip of it directly on that point. 
and then I'll plumb up. Again, I'm being very careful and making sure I'm as plumb as possible. Hit the store button. And I'm gonna repeat this process with as many control points as I can physically get to. The more control points you can hit, the more accurate you're going to be. What you'll notice is once you hit enough control points, two or more, it opens up a new button here. You'll see a green ribbon icon. If I tap that, it actually lets me see how accurate I was when selecting those control points. So for instance, on this one, it tells me I'm a 16th and an eighth off. If those are outside my tolerance. I can deselect one of them and move on. However, if I need them, first step I'm gonna do is go back and remeasure it and double check my plumb, make sure I'm still being accurate. If it's still outside of my tolerance, then I'm just gonna deselect it because there's a problem with that control point. It's been kicked, run over, moved, laid out inaccurately, any of those. After all my controls good to go, I'm gonna hit my final green check at the bottom. The tool's gonna to pop up and say, your station has been established, and now we're gonna start laying out or moving on for whatever the next step is gonna be. Again, I'm Kyle Wahlberg with Leica Geosystems, and I'll see you at the next video.